You knew I couldn't stay away. I have been at Universal for three days in a row and I was about to head back and go home later tonight because I didn't feel Disney Springs was gonna give me the Disney that I needed and I changed my mind. And I decided any amount of Disney is gonna be better than no Disney at all. So let's find out together. Come along. It's based off our name. This is uh this is working. This is working. All of this summer gear, I am absolutely feeling the vibes. Look at this donut mini float. Do not leave the store without this. A really cute little raincoat with flamingos and Mickey premium bars, and they even have to match the mini float, the little beverage floats. That is adorable. Mickey watermelon side pouch here with some matching flip flops. And this I actually might pick up. I swear when I was a little kid going to Disney growing up, I had like a little visor exactly like this. And, and who says I can't wear one now as a big girl? <laughs> Look at these, they're like little pool float ears. They'll keep your head above water for sure. I've never seen this phone case before, but I love it, of the partner statue. That's a pretty classic case right there. You can't go wrong. And speaking of cases, I really do have the case, a little case of emotions right now. I'm a, or I'm a, or I'm a basket case. One of the cases is happening to me. Um, being in this store, hearing some Disney music, seeing some Disney things, it's reminding me how I felt when I lived in Nashville and we would miss the parks so, so much. I'm gonna get emotional just like talking about it and just being, being around these ears and these clothes and these sounds. But we would miss the parks in Florida so much that we would go to the Disney store in the mall and like, no joke, hang out for hours. <laughs> of course, purchase things, you know, maybe walk away, grab lunch and came back. But whether you're in a store or at Disney or a store in the mall, there is just still magic floating about and you can feel it and it radiates inside of you. I hope you guys understand what I mean and I am so happy I didn't drive straight home and I decided to stop here because I'm getting all the vibes that I needed in my life for sure. Especially ones of the Star Wars variety. Look at these Empire Strikes Back leggings. Your legs will be striking back. You'll need to strike a pose in these leggings for sure. I think it's a pajama set and then you're supposed to have the little like tank that goes with it. Look at this shirt. Okay, take all my money, Disney. This is gonna be a problem. Have you ever needed all the porg pens? They got them here. <laughs> all right, that, that was more like a dolphin. I really don't remember the noise. Insert noise here of what porg sound like. doing some retail therapy for sure today you guys does this tie-dye dress not have my name written all over it I mean it has Walt Disney World's name on it but you, you know what I mean I gotta get out of here for now because I'm going to be purchasing some things before I head back to Sarasota I don't want to carry them around with me because it might be quite a few things so let's go see what more is open at Disney Springs this is my first time back so 
I really have no idea what I'm getting into. I might be having a special guest come to meet me for lunch. We will have to see. I never thought seeing stormtroopers would make me so emotional. I feel like I'm at Galaxy's Edge. Well, I think that wraps it up. Another great patrol under my command. You're under my command. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm in charge here. Mom and dad arguing again. Disney does not realize though, having just that little touch of bringing stormtroopers at Disney Springs, it, it's, 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 uh, it's feeding our, uh, our need for the parks. It, it's just the little things, just a little touch like that, that just makes your day feel great. Oh my God. this I did not put two and two together if they're not supposed to be some of the princesses they sure as heck look like them you know Jasmine Cinderella Ariel Belle Tiana like pick your poison we have Lego princesses but I don't I don't know if it's supposed to be that or they're just supposed to be normal girls I found a shady spot over here with my girls to have my coffee in case you're wondering what I get, I get a grande skinny caramel macchiato. Super low in calorie, but still gives you that sweet like Starbucks vibe that you like. Isn't it good? It's pretty good. Dang, I had a big surprise for you guys. I was gonna take you up on the Disney Springs balloon to see Disney Springs from the air to just do a little fun ride, but they are temporarily closed for high winds. I'm gonna tell you, the winds are not very high, otherwise I would not be sweating through this mask. But it is looking a little dark. We'll probably have to get some shelter too. It just won't be in an awesome big balloon like I expected. It's funny with how many times I've been here, I've actually never been on it. And I know it just goes up and down, but a lot of things just go up and down. Carousels, the economy, my happiness. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We'll get it next time. I've always noticed the sunshine churros, but I never noticed on display. Look at this. You can see everything they have to offer. Salted caramel, strawberry cheesecake. You got it. The original cinnamon's delicious. Even a Fruity Pebbles one. Ooh, that sounds so tempting. But I need lunch. I need lunch first. It is a little quieter over here because there are a lot of things closed, including one of my favorite bars here, which is the Hangar Bar. I think the last time I was here, it was Christmas. It was all decked out and bells and whistles. Oh, I can't wait to be back here, you guys, and for the holidays. And it's still good to see it, even if she isn't open. And I can't stress enough how happy that I am that I decided to come here. Everyone's been doing such a good job wearing their masks. It feels other than the mask, it feels just like it's always felt. Very relaxed. People are being very polite. And speaking of polite, it is time for lunch at a place I've never eaten before, The Polite Pig. this weekend. It's so nice to be able to take it off and have a seat. The other thing that's really nice about the parks not being open yet is it's almost forcing me to experience new things and experience new restaurants. Disney Springs is kind of always like an afterthought, a thing that I come to maybe for a nightcap at the end of the night, which I also love. 
but how long has the Polite Pig been here? And I've never tried it out because I'm always eating in the park. So I'm just really excited to, to try new things out. And I think a lot of this is, you know, we're out of our comfort zone with all this. None of us have worn masks before or had our temperature checked before going into a shopping area. But I think it's good sometimes to shake the system a little bit and experience the thing that you love in a completely different way. And I think we are actually gonna get the butcher board for two. It's $39 and you get pork, chicken, brisket, slaw, pickles, sides, cornbread, so a little bit of everything. My lunch date has arrived. Have you eaten here before? Uh, one other time. Yeah, but we're excited to try this big sampler platter. Holy polite pig, polite pig for the win. Look what they did. Look at our sides, the street corn, the mac and cheese, all the different sauces. We're saucing on them, T. Yum. Tastes very polite and very piggy. Well, Polite Pig was absolutely delicious. I highly recommend getting that platter. And they did take annual pass, which was really nice. Even more nice was having a nice little lunch date before I leave back to Sarasota. Thanks for coming along this weekend. I had a super fun time. Peace, love, and positivity. All the good things.